With the celebration of the .hack 15th anniversary and the release of .hack GU Last Rico for PlayStation 4 and PC, you may be a returning player to the world or you may also be experiencing the .hack series for the very first time. So here's a brief overview going through every single .hack game that has been released to date. And kicking things off firstly with the original .hack series, we have .hack Volume 1 Infection, .hack Volume 2 Mutation, .hack Volume 3 Outbreak, and lastly .hack Volume 4 Quarantine. They were released on the PlayStation 2 between 2002 to 2004 across both NTSC and PAL regions. The story takes place in 2010 in an online MMORPG called The World and it revolves around a brand new player character named Kite, who's trying to uncover the mysteries surrounding several player characters being killed in-game and simultaneously being placed into a coma in the real life. And this all begins after he witnesses this happen to his friend Orca. The anime series Dot Hack Sign also acts as a prequel to the original four games, which takes place early in 2010 and revolves around a different set of characters that help set in motion the events that take place during the first four games. The next game in the series is Dot Hack Fragment, which was released on PlayStation 2 in November 2005 exclusively in Japan. Dot Hack Fragment acts as a remake of the original four games with additional online capabilities and real time exploration. The story in it is the same as the original four games, with your creator play character replacing Kite instead. Following the original Dot Hack series, we then have the Dot Hack GU series, which includes Dot Hack GU Volume 1 Rebirth, Dot Hack GU Volume 2 Reminisce, and Dot Hack GU Volume 3 Redemption. They were released on PlayStation 2 between 2006 to 2007, exclusively in NTSC regions. The story for the Dot Hack GU series takes place in 2017, which is seven years after the original series, and it takes place in the second revision of the world called R2. This is after the servers to the first game were destroyed in a mysterious fire at CyberConnect headquarters. The story revolves around a character named Haseo, who hunts down player killers in the search of one named Triage. After Triage mysteriously killed his friend Shino in the game and placed her into a coma in real life. During his journey, learning how to fight and defeat Triage in order to rescue Shino, he comes to learn more about mysterious computer anomalies known as Ada, and that he also possesses unique powers that play a greater role in the story that is to unfold. And to celebrate the 15th anniversary of the Dot Hack series and the 10th anniversary of the Dot Hack GU series, Dot Hack GU Last Rico was recently released on PlayStation 4 and PC in November 2017. Acting as a remaster of the original three games, Dot Hack GU Last Rico also marks the first time the Dot Hack GU series has been released in Europe and also makes it the first Dot Hack game to be released on PC. This remaster features not only balance and additional mechanics, but also includes an additional fourth volume, which acts as an epilogue to the series. It's important to also note that the anime Dot Hack Roots acts as a prequel to the series, taking place within the first hour of the game during the eight month time skip. Next up, we have Dot Hack Link, which was released on PlayStation Portable in March 2010, exclusively in Japan. The story of Dot Hack Link takes place in 2020 in the third revision of the world titled RX and it revolves around a young character named Tokyo who's transported into the world RX by a new and mysterious transfer student named Saika Amagi. There, he is tasked with saving a group of artificial intelligence versions of characters based on casts from the previous entries in the Dot Hack series. And by using the Akashic records, he's able to travel backwards in time to previous Dot Hack series. Lastly, we have Dot Hack Versus, which was released on PlayStation 3 in January 2012, exclusively in Japan. It was released as a hybrid disc alongside the CGI animation film called Dot Hack Beyond the World, the story of which takes place in summer 2024 and revolves around Sora Yuki and her friends after she's persuaded to play the game called The World Force Era, only for an incident to occur inside the game and cause anomalies to happen in the real world. Dot Hack vs itself is a fighting game that allows you to play as characters from the series including Tsukasa, Kite, Black Rose, Haseo, Ovan, Tokyo, Sakuya and Sora from the movie Dot Hack Beyond the World. Finally, other notable mentions include the two games Dot Hack Guilty Dragon 
and New World Volume 1, Maiden of Silver Tears, which were released on Android and iOS in 2012 and 2016 respectively. Two collectible trading card games were also released. The first is called Dot Hack Enemy, which was created by Decipher Inc. and based on the Dot Hack series. It had five expansions which were released between 2003 to 2005. The second is a similar card game called Dot Hack GU The Card Battle, which was made by the original creators of the Dot Hack GU staff and involves two sets of rules. The first is based on the mini game in the Dot Hack GU series called Crimson Versus, and the second set of rules is specifically designed for the trading card game. The game ended up winning the Origins Award for Best Trading Card Game of 2003. So there we have it everyone, that is a brief overview of all the Dot Hack games released up until now, including games on both console, phone and otherwise. Let me know which games you have played, which games you own, and whether this is the first time you're actually learning about some of these Dot Hack games. The Dot Hack series is a very extensive universe, not just in video games and anime, but includes mangas, light novels and more. I encourage if this is your first time experiencing the Dot Hack series, enjoy it as much as you can, there is so much out there, and hopefully beyond the 15th anniversary, we will see more Dot Hack series come to light. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and until next video, stay spot on!